afternoon and welcome to America's Home Cooking. I know I've been talking about Knox gelatin and the chemicals in it. When I take Knox gelatin, I always have hip problems. I can feel the pain in my hips within 24 hours. So I know that they're using chemicals that withdraw calcium from your bones. If you eat a lot of jello when you were little and it was Knox and you have cavities, your teeth are bones as well. Now, I quit eating jello. I haven't had Jell-O in years, but I've been looking for a natural one because I know it comes from the bones, the gristles and stuff, and it has to be cooked down and pressurized and stuff. And I found Protein Essentials Beef Gelatin. It's grass-fed, pasteurized, raised, all natural powder supplements for a healthy lifestyle. It's gluten-free, it has 12 grams of protein, and it's dairy-free. You can even make candy with it if you wish. Okay, like uh, gummy bears. Now, I wanted to know what was in this. And this is what it reads. 100% pasteurized raised South American beef gelatin. It's 100% natural. Now, for a serving size, one level tablespoon is seven grams of protein. Try reading that on the other one. I tried reading Knox and I had to look all those words up and everything else. They don't really tell you much of anything. So I don't trust them. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make a natural jello, okay, without using theirs. You'd have to get beef gelatin and you'll probably have to go to Amazon and look for it because that's where I finally found it. Okay, now, if you don't wanna press your juices out and stuff, Pomana, Organic juices are fantastic. They have like nine, 10, maybe 12 of them. So you can make a lot of different jellos. I'm gonna make a strawberry. Now what I like about this, it's not concentrated and there's no sugar added. What they did was press the fruit and the juice they got out of it and they put it in a bottle. You have to buy 12 of them, you gotta buy a dozen. Uh, so you buy like a case of them and that's all that it is. It has no preservatives, nothing added. It's just straight juice. So what we're going to do to use, you're going to need one cup of boiling water. I want to try to make gummy bears because my son, one of my sons, as old as they are, they love gummy bears, but gummy bears are made with that Knox stuff and it hurts their hips. So I'm going to have to figure out how to make gummy bears. Now to make this jello, which is really nice, you just add one tablespoon of this. And look, you're getting protein, and it's a complete protein, which is added to the meals. You get the protein, you do better. I'm always talking about protein. You must think, and I'm sick of hearing her say protein, but it's very important. Your muscles need it, your brain, your heart, your organs. Need I go further? I know it needs other things, but it also needs that. Now, I don't like my jellos real sweet. I never have, never will. I know, you see the desserts I make and you probably sit there and say, hey, your desserts are pretty sweet. But I've never liked sweet jello. So I'm only gonna add to the jello that I just put in here. I'll turn you down so you can start seeing what I'm doing. We are going to add just four tablespoons of sugar. If this is not sweet enough, add a little more sugar to your taste. So you actually can control the sweetness and you're using sugar, which is natural, and you're not using those sweeteners. Uh, diabetic sweetness because I found out the hard way it withdraws calcium and minerals out of your teeth and out of your bones so uh, I am not happy with any of that as you can see now we will test this to make sure you know I just put the sugar on the other side so I have room here now we're going to bring one cup of water to boil Now we just need one cup of this. So we're gonna make two cups of jello. And I am going to serve this with whipped cream tomorrow morning. I'm gonna whip some cream for this and pack it up for my sons and the other one said, Mommy, I did not think that the jello is firmer. Yes, this jello that you make is gonna be firmer than the jello that you get in the store. The gelatin, because this is natural. So remember, you can add more sugar or less if you want, but you're controlling the sugar, you're controlling the chemicals, you're controlling and stepping away from it and said, no, wait a minute, this is my body, I'm gonna take care of my family, this is what it comes down to. Now, I don't like telling you that 
This stuff is tearing down your body. You wonder why you get older sooner and we don't live as long or anything else and you're achy, you get an old age and you look forward to retirement. Then when you get there, you go, oh my back, oh my hips. I mean, you're complaining all the time. And then you look in the mirror and said, God, I look like death warmed over. It should not have to be that way. Are we going to age? By all means, we all are. But must we go down that fast, that quick, and can't enjoy retirement? I almost have the water boiling, and we're going to pour it into the gelatin and the sugar right here, and then we're going to mix it. Because mm -hmm. I tried this yesterday with the blueberries. And my older son tried it this morning. He said, oh, mommy, this is thicker than what we get. I said, yeah. He says, it's much better. It's got more flavor. It's not as sweet. And I said, that's right. All right, you got one cup of water coming to a boil. You pour it in here. I'm gonna use this little spoon. And we're just gonna stir this until it all dissolves. That's why I stirred the sugar around in it to make sure. Fingers getting a little warm because <laughs> my spoon is so short. But you're just going to keep on stirring it until you get this all mixed. That's what you have to do. I was watching this baking show and I went, mm hmm. And I said, well, I'm no chef, that's for dang sure. <laughs> I was looking at them and said, well, I fall short on that though. No. I'm just stirring it, I'll show you. You can see I'm just stirring to make sure that all of it's mixed. And then what you're going to do is just pour it in. One cup of juice. And the thing is, is we can make our own orange. We can make our own lemon. We can make our own lime. That's it. This is all you have to do. It's just I'm just stirring it to mix it up. That's it. Let this cool to where I can get it into the refrigerator because the bottom's hot now. Put it in the refrigerator and tomorrow morning you will have jello. And the thing is, is there's no added preservatives to this. This one here, nothing. It's just plain juice. This is just gelatin from bones and beef. That's it. Nothing else. And your sugar, well, whichever sugar you want to use. I'm using uh, just granulated sugar, white. And that's it. So uh, there's no reason for, you know, there's no reason. I guess that's what I'm saying. There is no reason they have to make a synthetic jello. They should be able to make the gelatin naturally and let the people have it. But they want the money and they don't care about your health. And the only person who's going to care about your health, not even the doctor, because they're in on it. They're in on it. So anyway, I'm not going to get on my high horses because I will. <laughs> anyway, listen, you take care. And I hope you try making your own jello this way. It's really nice. It's just what can't we do? We can add fruit and anything to it that we want. I'm just making them simple now. I'm going to serve this with whipped cream tomorrow, and I think my family's going to love it very much. But remember, this jello is going to be different than the jello that you buy in the store because it's made at home. We don't try to make it like at what you buy. Making it at home is more nutritious and it's better made. All right, so remember that. Take care and have a lovely day.